Okay, calculate and draw the refracted angle. Okay, so so the world uses this formula n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2, right? IB gives you this formula n, whoops, n1 over n2 equals sine theta 2 divided by sine. They're having too much fun in the other room, theta 1, right? So the, if you cross multiply this, you get this. And then they also give you, you know, v2 over v1. Notice that these are um, in the same order or something like that. Anyway, I find this, this formula very confusing. Uh, almost always, this is the way I like to go. So I'm just going to use that, right? Uh, let's see. Air is essentially this index of refraction is 1. So that's our N1. This is our theta 1. I always just do like the first medium, the second medium, right? This will be my N2. It will be this 1.51, right? So uh, 1.00 sine of 54 equals 1.51 sine of, and then, you know, the refracted angle will be this guy here, right? This is theta 2, theta 2, right? So I'm going to go 1, oh wait, hold on. Let me check my mode. I'm in degrees, good, okay. So 1 sine 54 divided by 1.51, right? I get, oh, 11, I just did 11. Let's try that again. Not 11. One. All right, I get uh, 0.53577 equals the sine of theta 2. So obviously I need to take an inverse sine, right? So second sine of the answer. And I get 32.39 degrees. And I'm trying to figure out why we have three sig figs in our answer when we only have two sig figs here. Uh, I think it's probably just 32 degrees, but that's okay. The world is happy, right? Uh, yeah. There you go.